with DJU. Jet motion. DJ will get it out to the flats to Williams, and Williams will turn the corner and have a first down for the Knowles, the transfer from Bama. Uwe Ungole straight ahead running. Good job by that offensive line to surge for about 10 and a half yards. Looks like he's right at that line to gain. Oh, it's a really good call out, Joe. This is a very experienced Florida State offensive line. 210 combined starts between them, and their health is going to be a big key. When they just come off the ball, they are big and physical, and they get push and movement. You've seen a couple of examples, I think, from the Seminole. Toafili, he breaks free. Lance Toafili, touchdown, no. The MVP of the ACC championship game with a 28-yard touchdown run to open up the season. Swinging gates, and Brian Courtney takes it in. Florida State opens up the season with Alex Mastromano, the senior punter, lining up on the direct snip, taking the pitch to the left as special teams coordinator John Papuchis, who always has something up his sleeve, opens up the season with that for the two-point conversion. Well, I think Florida State lined up in the swinging gate, and they were waiting to see how Georgia Tech was going to defend it. But Georgia Tech, they got all their bodies in here. They're not adjusting and getting everybody out to the left side. So instead of shifting everybody back in, Mastromano just lines up. They flip it outside. And that could not have been a better start to the season if you're Florida State and Mike Norvell driving down the field in DJU's first series as a Seminole, and then you get the two-point conversion. You know, I want to go back and look at that. I may correct myself and say that was the snapper who made the call with the direct snap over to that formation. Here's Leary on the return. And Patrick Payton, Seminole fans are very familiar with. These guys are big, athletic. They win a lot of one-on-ones. We'll focus in a lot on Jones and Peyton today. They do mark it as a first down. They get the ball quickly into space to Rutherford. And here he goes inside the 20 before he is taken down. That was Devontae Brown. Yards. Wow. Georgia Tech gets their big fellas out. Look at right tackle Jordan Williams getting out. Right guard Keelan Rutledge to transfer from Middle Tennessee into the second level. And they're put. Direct snap. Here he goes straight ahead and powers his way in. Let it rain, says Tech. Sting him, Yellow Jackets. Who's ready for ball this year? Man, oh man, we got a great start here. In nice block by center Weston Franklin. He's going to bang down on a D lineman and then chip up here and get DJ Lundy a piece of him at linebacker. And that really is what gives the space for Pyron to bust in for the touchdown. Aiden Burr puts it through. Fourth down and four. As he gets it to Toa Feely, but he is met right away. Great effort from Amari Harvey. Back into the backfield, play action. Pressure again on Uyunglele, but he dumps it to Williams as Williams maintains his balance down the sideline. And what a big play by the transfer from Bama Roy. Two-yard attempt from Fitzgerald. And he's able to drill it. Pushing ahead, and it's a touchdown, Georgia Tech. Jamal Haynes with the one-yard touchdown run as Georgia Tech takes their first lead of the game. Well, that felt like it took all 10 guys. <laughs> Multiple linemen, saw tight ends. Even Haynes King, the quarterback, gets in there. Look at him coming from the right side of the screen, number 10 right there, just trying to lower his right shoulder in to help out his running back to push him across the line of scrimmage. Impressive, impressive drive by Georgia Tech, showing a ton of physicality and creativity. Eating clock and taking the lead. 
as Aiden Berg gives them a three-point margin yard attempt to tie the game at the half by Fitzgerald. And why not? A 59-yard field goal from Ryan Fitzgerald. In the English Premier League watching this game, he, he might get signed. It's going to be a Liverpool, a Chelsea, a Man U signage happening after the first half of Fitzgerald. Had. That was an absolute bomb. Jamal Haynes breaks a tackle, gets free. Here goes Haynes. Pass midfield, perfect way to start the second half for the Yellow Jackets. Jamal Haynes taken down immediately as DJ Lundy darts in. Sees the key, and as soon as he sees this hole open, he sees guards pulling. He's now playing downhill. They lost him in the portal to Colorado in the offseason, Joe. He decided to come back to Florida State, and that was a big get for Adam Fuller and Mike Norvell because he is one of the Good on third down out of the backfield. DJ is pressured and taken down. They got to him. That was strong by Kevin Harris. And it was just too much. Basically, Jalen Lucas, 170 pounds, is back there, and, and he can't he can't get it done. And pass animal now playing against the Yellow Jackets. Master Mono. Shelly's lucky that he held on to the ball because Edwin Joseph, the backup corner, was two-point play, and then Edwin Joseph was laying the hammer for Florida State. Got a good one here in Dublin, Ireland, Joe. Playing that Knowles D. Haynes King gets it out and gets it complete to Chase Lane. And that was a busted coverage. By Georgia Tech for a moment has recovered, and they have. And that was big number 77, the right guard, Keelan Rutledge. He was the only guy there with a whole lot of gold. That was a bad exchange. It looks like the quarterback put the ball into the belly, right into the belly, between the one and the one. The last second, he was trying to pull it out to get outside. He saw Byron Turner crashing in on the play, and Georgia Tech so lucky jump on that football. It's a walk for King. He's going to try to run it himself, and he does so with success. Inside the 10, inside the 5. Folks, it's first and goal, Georgia Tech. Franklin running out into the second level on the QB draw. We'll see here only five defenders in the box for Florida State, and that's the key right there for Haynes King to tuck it and get north. And again, Joe. Georgia Tech starts the fourth quarter with a chance to take the lead. And up and over and in goes Jamal Hayes. And Aiden Burr, sir, puts it in to make it 21 to 14. Just kidding. He's got time, and he's got a man. Jakai Douglas, first down. That time, 6'5", Uyunglele, great job sliding to his left, keeping his eyes downfield and finding Douglas, who sits down in the middle of the zone. 20 yards to Ja'Kai Douglas on fourth and fourth down and eight. DJ, they did it again! First and goal! Benson holds it in! How about these gutsy knolls on this drive? does just that. Really nice patience on this route, setting it up, puts his foot in the ground, gets to the middle of the field, another accurate throw from DJU, and Florida State in business. And by Williams. Williams into the end zone. What a well-managed drive by DJU. 
I mean, a 15-play drive. And then Fitzgerald with the extra point to tie it. Minute to try to pull up a big upset. Oh, the ball is out! Hanks King scoops it up! And being chased down, and they lose yardage! Singleton was coming in motion. Junior there, Shaheen Brown, able to make a massive play for Florida State's defense. Florida State used their left.